Here, what's going on everybody? We're back with another video. And if you clicked on this video, chances are you are trying to increase your draw weight. Whether you wanna shoot 80 pounds like Joe Rogan and Cam Haynes, that's who got me into archery. That's why I shoot 80 pounds. Or if you're a little bit older, you don't wanna lose draw weight. Maybe you're younger, you need to hit that legal limit or you're just trying to work your way up and shoot a heavier bow so you can make those farther shots. Personally, I don't care why you want to shoot a heavier bow. I'm just going to be the aid in helping you shoot a heavier bow. And make sure you guys stay to the end because I'm going to have a workout plan for you guys completely free. There's a lot of videos out there on how to increase your draw weight. Dan over at Elk Shape has some great videos. All these videos do leave out one very important thing, which we will get to, but the basis of shooting a heavier bow is being a strong person. And how do you get strong? Working out. You cannot avoid the hard work. You can overcomplicate shooting a heavier poundage as much as you want, but it ultimately comes down to one thing. How strong are you? Recently got into archery. I shoot 80 pounds. If I could find a bow that shot heavier, I would shoot heavier. Why? Because I'm a strong human. So what you guys need to focus on is becoming a stronger person. Yes, there's some specific exercises that will translate very well over. But ultimately, if you train the muscle, you just need to train your muscles that are used to shoot your bow. And the muscles that we need to train is our upper back. I think everyone should weight train. I don't care what you're into. I think there's a big stigma too with hunters being out of shape and all that shit. We gotta, we gotta kick that shit. It's okay to work out. You don't need to try to look like me. I'm a professional bodybuilder. I don't expect you to need to look like me, but there's no reason that you shouldn't be a stronger version of you. I'm gonna show you a couple exercises. These will also be in the workout plan that you guys will get at the end that I would recommend to increase your draw weight. You need a strong back. You also should probably have a pretty strong core. You don't need fancy equipment to build your back. You just need the basics. This right here is a seated cable one and we have the lat pull down handle. We're gonna go for a wider grip. And what we're going to do is focus on pulling to our, for lack of better words, our nips. And so what this is doing is recruiting our upper back muscles. We're not doing a chest supported, which you can do, also super great, but our core, we are bracing and we are rowing. For whatever reason, you don't have access to a lot of weight or you're a beginner, slow down. If you've ever looked on the internet, you've probably seen some crazy exercise, people pulling the cables and all that. And I'm not saying they don't work, but chances are you're not trying to be in the gym having everyone look at you sideways. Now, personally, I don't care what people think about me, but not everyone's like that. You can still do standard exercises that will translate over to your archery or your hunting. If you're having mobility issues or something else, you should definitely address that first. Dan's video shows a bunch of great mobility. I'm gonna focus on the strength side of things. It's not about going super fast. So one thing that we can do is when we row, we squeeze it, we hold for a second. And then nice and slow, we can let our shoulders roll forward, shoulders come back and down, squeeze and hold. But I would recommend, because we kinda wanna do a combination of building muscle along with strength, is I would shoot for anywhere between that six to eight rep range. And the biggest thing, and I need you to listen, is you need to apply yourself. If you don't apply yourself in your training, you're not gonna see any growth. Just like if you don't apply yourself in practicing shooting your bow, how are you gonna get better? You're not, that's bullshit. Get out what you put in. If you half-ass everything, you're gonna get half-ass results. We're not trying to get half-ass results. Another great exercise is the dumbbell row. I like to use a bench. I put on about a 30 degree incline. And what you're going to do, once again, we are bracing. We're hinging at our hips. Here's our brace on the bench. You can even put your forearm here, and then you're gonna focus on rowing. I would change your arm path to more of an out here, kinda at like a 45, rather than coming back if you were targeting your lats. Let's keep it a buck here. I can show you a million exercises, but at the end of the day, I guarantee you, I promise you, if you give this a shot for four weeks, you follow the split that I put at the end, you try strength training, you try working out, hitting some weights, along with the hack that I'm gonna show you guys, you're gonna be able to shoot heavier. And whatever poundage you're shooting now, it's gonna become easier. All of these right here, here's five back machines. All of these 
will help you build your back muscles, which will in turn help you draw more weight. The human body is not meant to be isolated. There's only a select few muscle groups that we can truly isolate. But at the end of the day, if your back is strong, you'll pull more weight. If you have made it to this part of the video, this information will set you apart. If you and a friend both started working out and training to get your draw weight up at the same time, but you implemented what I'm about to say and they didn't, you would see far better results. It's the one thing that no one talks about in any of these videos. Remember, my background is fitness. I'm a professional bodybuilder. I do online coaching. I do all that stuff. Fitness is my world. I'm new to the archery world. But you're trying to get stronger. That's right up my alley. But what do you need to get stronger? You need to build muscle. What do you need to build muscle? You need protein. If you guys just focused on one thing, is tracking your protein intake. The goal is one gram of protein per one gram of body weight. Now, if you're someone that is pretty overweight, you can get away with about 75% of your body weight. Eating a lot of protein can be hard. Me, when I am trying to shred down, I get upwards of 325 grams of protein, which is a lot. It's a lot for anyone. That's where something like this comes in. This is Rise Protein. This is a protein powder. This is a game changer. I know a lot of you guys are probably going to struggle to reach your protein goal. You're 200 pounds, you got to eat 200 grams of protein. That's tough. If you're a girl and you're 150 pounds, eating 150 grams of protein is a lot of food. But this right here will make it so much easier. What's special about this is that it tastes fucking amazing. This is delicious. This is the best protein powder I've had. So much that I've been loyal to this company for over four years now. Now, if you guys want to take my word for it, you can. I do have a code. It'll save you 50% off. But you can get any protein powder. This is just the one that you're going to want to keep on buying. If we implement strength training on top of getting some better nutrition in, I'm not saying you got to eat perfect, but just focus on your protein. Just start reading the back of your labels and focus on hitting a protein goal. You're going to get stronger. And if you've never done this, little hack, there's a thing called newbie gains. Your progress is going to be insane. And it doesn't matter. You could be 60 years old. If you start focusing on getting some protein in and strength training, your body's going to be stronger. I think a lot of us look up to Joe Rogan and Cam Haynes. Both of those guys are a little bit older and they're badasses. You know why they're badasses? Because they train. They do hard shit. Ultimately, if you want to get stronger, you want to pull heavier weight, you want to build muscle, you're going to have to put in some work. It's not just going to happen. Everything that I said will apply to everybody. I don't care who you are, white, black, brown, yellow, tall, short, guy, girl, whatever. It does not matter. This workout split that I got for you guys is basic. It's not super complicated. It's not super personalized. If there's exercise, if you guys have shoulder pain or, or other, you know, injuries going on, don't work through pain. That's not smart. If something hurts and it's uncomfortable, chances are it's your body telling you, hey, we're about to go to Snap City. This ain't it. So this is simple. It's a five workout split. You got your Monday or your Tuesday or your Wednesday. I don't care what day you do them on, but five workouts a week. And if you can't commit to that, then do four. Matter of fact, I'll give you guys two. I'll give you guys a four day and I'll give you guys a five day. Try this for four weeks. If you apply yourself, I guarantee you, I don't make guarantees, but I guarantee you, if you take the information in this video and actually apply it, you're going to get stronger. You guys don't have to sit here and screenshot it though. It's going to be linked in my Instagram bio. If you guys aren't following me on Instagram, go over there on Instagram. It'll be in my link tree for you guys. And then you can screenshot them, you can download them, whatever you want. This is my gift to you guys. If you guys have any questions, reach out to me on Instagram or you guys can comment down below. I'll make sure I get back to you guys and try to help you the best I can. If you guys really liked the video, hit the like button. I'm gonna keep on giving you guys more, keep on you know, bring you guys into my life. This is obviously an informational video, but you guys gotta let me know if you, you fuck with it. This is a different style. I'm telling you, man, we gonna do this shit. This YouTube thing, we gonna do it. But as always, it's been real, it's been trill. It's your boy Jay Lane, and go chase your motherfucking dreams.